Hey YouTube, this is NJ Fullwater5, and I've got another Aurelic, Aurelic Upstream app. Um, this one is actually pretty close to the same app I got before, except for this one actually comes with a power supply and a remote control. It looks like the power supply for this one is going to be at 24 volts, 4.16 amp. Uh, efficiency level V of course they comes with the 15% uh, to 50% off if you make a review and get a refund and like the other ones I'll go ahead and throw up uh, some information about the amp and then when I get back or when we come back I'll run through this real quick all right, so here is the you or the Amazon link or the Amazon site. Looks like uh, you can get these for ninety-four dollars shipped, uh, free shipping if you're a Prime member. And uh, it says Upstream App 2.0 Wi-Fi Bluetooth 5.0 with 50 by 50 watt 21 volt DC 2.0 Hi-Fi stereo channel. Multi room streaming amplifier board, full set for DIY speaker, Aurelic WB60. Man, that was a full sentence for a title. Uh, it says as wireless streaming, Wi Fi, Ethernet, Bluetooth 5.0 music streaming options available. Network streaming will have no distance limitation if stayed connected. Free Android and iOS app available, allow to stream music from stream service, phone storage. NAS, USB, multi-protocol, AirPlay, DLNA, Spotify, Connect, Up, NP, support. Any third-party app with these functions also be able to control iTunes and foot bar for PC control. Amazing sound streaming without compression. Enjoy great sound quality. Spot, Spotify, Deezer, Tidal, Cubas, iHeartRadio available in the app for stream, multi-room, Multi-zone support multi-unit to group work in a multi-room of multi-zone streaming e.g. all rooms play same music in sync. Okay, so here's the pictures. Let's go through the pictures real quick. They're going to give you all of them. Good rundown of uh, all the parts. This is exactly like the last one I had, uh, reviewed. The only difference is this one comes with an actual uh, power supply and the remote control. Upstream app 2.0 Wi-Fi Bluetooth 5.0 Hi-Fi audio amplifier board. It shows you know basically all the I guess apps and uh, you know like iHeartRadio and then the Bluetooth Wi-Fi DLNA AirPlay multi room. Multi room is what I think is going to be cool with this. It's called Force Stream app, and then it shows all the other information. Again, it does the quick rundown. Um, Upstream app 2.0, Bluetooth 5.0, Hi-Fi stereo amplifier board. Then it runs through the pretty much the same stuff it said at the top. Wi-Fi 2.4G 2 and Bluetooth 5.0 support Spotify Connect, AirPlay, and DLNA. 24-bit, 192kHz decoding. Audio formats are FLAC, WAV, APE, AAC, MP3, etc. Spotify, Deezer, Cubas, Tidal, Napster, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio, etc free Android and iOS applications. Spotify, Deezer, Cubiz, Tidal, Napster, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio, etc. Free Android and iOS application. Global online firmware update. And then over here, it kind of does run down of the power again. Two by 50 watts in the four ohm load gives you 21. Two by 30 watts in the eight ohm load gives you 24, or 24 volts. Two by 15 watts into an eight ohm load at 15 volts. Uh, the power input is 12 to 26, network, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, RJ45, Bluetooth 5.0, then a quick rundown again of the stuff it ran through again. And then it goes through, you know, features, stream music via network and Bluetooth, stream music without compression, Spotify, AirPlay, DLNA, DLNA, massive streaming music. I guess in the app you can actually get to your iHeartRadio or any other, any other place you are subscribed to. Big amplifier power, 
I believe when I chatted with these guys, they told me that I used a TPA 3116 uh, multi-room, multi-zone. You could have these set up all along, all along the house, and I guess as long as you got the app going on the phone that you're using, you could connect all these simultaneously, and they will all play the music at the exact same time. If you go to these guys, there's a site here. It looks like this is probably everything I've showed. It looks like the only thing I haven't shown you guys is... Let's see, I haven't shown you guys this one. So I might have to talk to him about this one. Upstream Mini V, Wi Fi, Airplay, Hi Fi, Music, Multi Room Streaming, Audio Receiver Board with Home Stereo for DIY Speaker Acrylic. This looks like a Bluetooth only board. This would actually be pretty cool. Huh. It looks like it could be remote controlled too. We'll take a look at this real quick. Looks like just your basic remote control. Just something to control the Bluetooth on there, I guess. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, option. I'm gonna have to find some more information on this whenever I build the speaker and see if I can find some instructions on how to use this with this because I went over reading this and it didn't look like it had too much information on there, but also, uh, they want you to download the Forstream app in the App Store or the iOS Google Play Store. Okay, so just like the other one, it has basically, it looks like it's built almost exactly the same. So give me one quick sec and I will grab the other amplifier and we'll compare it to this amplifier and see if there's any differences here's the other amp and it's an identical match to it ir in the back um, there's no difference whatsoever so it looks like this remote and this power supply can be used with the other one too the only thing i really don't like about it is if i was to do anything different because you're kind of limited if you want to make your case or you know you want to make a bluetooth speaker out of it you want to put this stuff at the back of it and you want to be able to put that you know in the back to where you can plug in your ethernet a usb you know uh, audio in your audio out your power um but in the front you've got your leds and your ir remote uh, the only problem with that is if you're going to use these in conjunction with this without desoldering or anything like that um you're going to have to um make sure your case is only the same you know whatever the width is of this so the only thing i could think of doing to make this DIYable is I have to desolder the IR remote and I'll have to desolder the uh, LED and I'll have to add a three pin to this and a four pin to this and once I do that I can move the IR wherever I need to and I can move the LED wherever I need to and I'm not limited on the width of the of the board So hopefully these are easy to desolder. That would probably be the only change I would make on this. Like the other one, the build quality is excellent. I mean, it's almost flawless. The instructions are kind of basic. Say, configure via the app, power the device on, connect your mobile device to your network. Go for mobile device, Wayland setting connect mobile device to hotspot sound system. Press the WPS in the hotspot if it's not found. Open up the Force Stream application, follow the guide. Uh, choose the 2.4G network, enter password, wait for the device to be configured. Uh, that's probably to use the Wi Fi connect on uh, these. And all three of these, for instance, if I put these all in different, well, of course, it's going to be a different Bluetooth speakers by the time I'm said and done but for instance if I wanted to make these two exactly the same 
but I wanted them in like a stereo kind of mode. And I put one Bluetooth speaker on one side of the room and another Bluetooth speaker on the other side of the room. Uh, they can play together. They've got like, um, I'm trying to think what they call it. I'll have to find the name of that and put that at the bottom of the, at the bottom of the video. But you can play them, they connect together and even this, the uh, Bluetooth uh, version, you can connect all of these together and give one sound to coming out of the same phone. And because they connect, you know, Wi-Fi, you can, you know, do it inside your home system. Looks like you can also connect it via landline. You know, that's kind of a pain in the butt, but I, but I can, I guess if you have like, if you have it stationed on your like, your TV and you're using it to, you know, power like a, a you know, a complete surround sound system, you could probably keep, a, you know, a Ethernet connected to it. And then the option three is the Bluetooth pair. Looks like, I don't know how the, I don't know how it updates the firmware. I'll have to look into that too. I don't know if it goes through the app or if you have to be connected Ethernet. We'll go ahead and I think what I might go ahead and do with this one, just, just to test. I think I'm gonna go ahead and power this one on. I'll find a set of speakers I got laying around here. We'll go ahead and power this one on and we'll see what kind of sound quality we get. I think I got a couple of, uh, 100 watt bows or well, 50 watts each and uh, we'll power it on with this and uh, see what kind of sound quality we get from just this alone all right so i found a couple of speakers i have a couple of bows um they are 10 to 100 watts rated 48 ohms continuous 50 watts at 6 ohms um they should sound pretty good with this amp so uh, we'll speed through this and I'll go ahead and connect everything and we'll give it a quick test. Alright guys, for right now I'm just going to connect Bluetooth to my tablet. Um, at a later time once I make a build we'll go through the app and uh, study that more but for right now this is just kind of a quick sound test to see how it sounds uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to connect this to this by powering it on no lights blinking so hopefully we get some Bluetooth uh, upstream There we go. So let's try this. in here to turn this up I have a feeling all right so here we go there we go
Alright, so I want to see the power works. Yep. Power it on, power it off. Let's see. There we go. So power's back on, but of course it's going to be looking for the Bluetooth. And of course you'd have to connect. Alright guys, so there you have it. Wasn't the greatest test, but it was enough to see how this would perform. Um, these speakers take a lot of power, but they sounded almost perfect with this. I don't know if the phone captured the audio as good as I heard it, but I know these sound amazing. These are going to make some great DIY Bluetooth speakers. I just have to, like I said, uh, desolder these two little uh, components in the front, and that's about it. So, if you guys got any questions about Aurelic, I'll leave most of the links in the description so that you guys can run over there and purchase one. Um, let me know. Uh, I've been studying these guys for the past month, trying to find out what the company is all about. Uh, these are the three, one of the three main products they have. I believe they have one more product, and it's more like a box that you would put with your your uh, surround sound or something like that. And you could pretty much DIY one of these. Because that box is kind of spendy and I'm sure you could make one of your own if you purchase this or even just this. I don't know what kind of remote control this is. I don't know if this is something you could just purchase off, you know, some off another site or anything like that. Uh, did not come with batteries. You have to make sure you buy batteries. So, like I said, if you guys got any questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will check you guys out in uh, my next video.